Good morning. Welcome to your 815 Daily Operations Weather Brief. We have some cloudy skies out there this morning. We'll see some rainfall develop across the region in the next few hours, and we'll continue to see some rain showers in and out of the region today. We won't see a complete rain out today as we'll have a few periods of some dry weather, but overall, kind of an unsettled day with uh, periods of rain showers across the region. A very slight chance of a thunderstorm today. It doesn't look like the setup is optimal to see thunderstorms here at Wallops uh, with the northeast flow this morning as well as uh, limited instability for the afternoon. I can really see very high chance of thunderstorms, probably only about a 5% chance of that occurring. The rainfall will be likely across the region. Looking at our current uh, surface analysis across the area, we do have this boundary that's set up just south of the Wallops region giving us more of a northeasterly breezy flow across the Wallops area this morning. That's going to continue to move slowly to the north for the afternoon hours into the evening hours and we'll continue to see the northeast wind for the early afternoon and we'll continue with the breezy conditions until this boundary moves north of the region. Once it does we'll see a southeasterly flow take over of the Wallops region and there will be a slightly less breezy with that southeasterly flow. With this boundary we'll see rain showers moving into the region. We have a fairly good amount of rainfall across the Tennessee Valley that's going to be moving towards our region for the afternoon hours today and that looks like our best chance of seeing some moderate rainfall across the Wallops region. Looking at our radar as well as our surface uh, observations across the Mid-Atlantic region you can see the rainfall currently across central Virginia and some of that moderate at times. I did even see a lightning strike across su southern Virginia this morning southern central Virginia, excuse me, and that's going to uh, see rainfall continue to move off to the north and to the east for the afternoon hours into the uh, late morning hours as well. Uh, not really going to see that chance of thunderstorm across here at Wallops as I mentioned before. You can also see some uh, heavier rainfall across uh, south central Virginia as well as northern portions of North Carolina. That will be moving towards our region but uh, it won't have the strength as it does over that region once it moves over our area. And our HER model this morning giving us an idea of what the radar may look like for the morning and the afternoon hours. Here's 10 o'clock this morning, going to see a band of showers move through, moving to 11 o'clock and then around the noon time area. Could see a break in the rainfall during that time period and then more showers filtering in as we move into the uh, mid to late afternoon hours. Here's 5 o'clock this evening, I see some rain showers continue to move back into the region. So kind of in and out of the rainfall today with the best chance of rainfall during the late morning hours and uh, during the late afternoon hours as well looks according to the HER run here. And our current observations this morning seeing a scatter deck at 4,000 feet, an overcast deck 11,000 feet, unrestricted visibilities, winds out at 6 degrees at 16 knots, temperature 50 degrees and relative humidity at 67 percent. So looking at our risk chart for today we'll have uh, orange conditions for rain from now through the uh, 20 local time period or 8 o'clock this evening and then we'll just see some slight chances of rainfall or drizzle during the evening hours into the overnight hours as well. Our winds will be around 25 knots this morning with the gusts. Uh, seeing those winds should peak out around 24 knots so uh, most likely we'll not have to issue a wind advisory for this event uh, but uh, seeing those winds marginally uh, with that yellow for the 25 knot criteria. No chance of uh, lightning in regards to the risk chart here. As I mentioned, we could see about a 5% chance of a chance of a thunderstorm moving into the region for the afternoon hours as that boundary moves north of the region. It uh, looks like it's going to be a pretty slim uh, chance for the Wallops region. Our ceilings will have a chance of uh, lower ceilings tonight as that front moves north of the region. We'll have uh, lighter winds as well as a weak area low pressure developing off the coast of the Outer Banks. It should give us a pretty good setup for some low clouds across the area. Our 24 hour terminal forecast is going to see uh, mostly cloudy to cloudy conditions across the region. You're going to see that rainfall really build in after 10 o'clock, a chance of moderate rainfall. Then after 2, we'll see uh, more light rainfall across the region with the possibility of our ceilings lowering uh, to around uh, 2,000 feet once we move past the 1400 local time period and then during the overnight time period we'll see those uh, ceilings really start to uh, lower as we'll see lighter winds as well as uh, 
decent setup for some low clouds across the region, possibly seeing ceilings as low as 400 feet during the overnight time period. Well, we continue to see a slight chance of rainfall as well during the overnight uh, time period with uh, as well a chance of some drizzle across the area. Highs today will be in the mid to upper 50s, looking at 57 degrees for today here at Wallops, and that will most likely occur during the uh, late afternoon hours uh, as that rainfall kind of moves in and out of the region. And then tonight we'll see lows in the uh, lower to mid 50s across the region, seeing a low here at Wallops at 52 degrees. Our tides are currently normal and looking to Saturday through Sunday. And we'll see Saturday overcast skies, a chance of uh, drizzle and light rain during the morning and early afternoon, slightly breezy onshore flow. Uh, mostly cloudy late, so should see some break up of the clouds during the late afternoon and evening hours. But uh, with the onshore flow and uh, area low pressure that's going to be over the Outer Banks region, kind of lingering across the region, only going to see a high of 60. Uh, I know it's been forecast to be higher or warmer on Saturday but with that area low pressure off the coast with onshore flow and a abundant cloud cover across the region not going to see as warm as some of the models had shown uh, previous uh, during the early portion of this week. We'll have a yellow for precipitation and a yellow for our ceilings. Saturday night we'll see partly cloudy skies, a chance of fog below 50 degrees and Sunday we'll see a chance of lingering fog in the morning and otherwise Partly cloudy and pleasant, a high of 66 degrees on Sunday. We'll see a yellow for our ceilings for uh, both of those time periods with the fog in the region. That's going to complete our A15 daily operations weather brief. I hope everybody has a great day. We'll be back at 10 o'clock to look at the next seven days.